Adult Talk Podcast X. I am your host, Ebony Goddess Mystique. And you know how we kicking this off. We do this shit live and direct, downtown LA, and we only bring the top, the hottest adult performers, directors, producers, and everything sexy in between to Adult Talk X Podcast. Today, you already know what fucking time it is. We have the mother, yes, the legendary Misty Stone. She gonna chop it up with us tonight. I got a few fan questions in. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna give you the real, and it's gonna happen here. So here we go, live and direct from LA, Adult Talk X Podcast. Let's bring her on, the one and only, the peer girl of the industry, okay? Misty Stone. <laughs> Oh, baby, that is a beautiful introduction. I think I like the way you talk about me. I like the way you say about me. It's getting hot in here. I like the way you do me when my daddy's not. I'm so lucky, y'all. I'm so lucky. The one and only Misty Stone. So let's get it cracking. Let's get it cracking. So, girl, talk to me. How are you doing? I've been well. I've been shooting. I've been taking sabbaticals. Then I shoot again. Then I come back when I feel like it. And then I have really big projects that I like to just like boom with you guys. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about our projects and everything. We definitely going to get into it. But first of all, we definitely wanted to let everybody see your perspective on these things that's going on in the world today. oh my goodness it so is craziness man. so let's go honestly on. i think i already know what you want to say come Ooh, on let's come go on. we gotta get into it, it to so we're gonna start this off with our current event segments and let's talk about a few current events the world's crazy right now you know these gas prices girl we can't go nowhere let's talk about that in california it's about seven dollars plus premium you know, to get anywhere you know, that's all nowadays. I, so, what do you think about that? I have no choice but to use premium, <laughs> first of all. Yeah. I have no choice. I drive a Lincoln. That car. I have premium. <laughs> I lease my Lincoln like white people. So, I definitely have to have premium. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you put $40 in your tank, you're an idiot. Uh, if you put $100 in your tank, you're doing all right. Because about Crazy. 150 would do you good, baby. That's how much you're going to have to dump in that tank these days. If you're doing baby. premium. If you're doing premium. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what the other prices are because I'm not an other price type of bitch. But, and that's no shade to nobody, I promise. It just no happens to be my life. But, because um, I lease like white people, I told you. Just get like me. It's like white people stop buying your cars because they appreciate it as soon as they come off a lot. Anyway, okay, I'm not gonna teach. That. We're not gonna teach we're today. We're not gonna don't teaching us economics. Okay, we're not gonna put our glasses time. on and put a teacher's aid on. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. But it's just something that I feel like is just extreme. It's all really extreme. Like do you feel like uh, maybe Trump would have did better if he was still in office with these oh, economics? Yeah. I'm. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can't say nothing about your performance. Oh yeah, I'm one of Never the T word. We yeah. cannot say the T word. And the only Trump I promote or want to fucking vote for is my baby, the one that I raised and taught her how to clean her pussy. Ooh, let's do it. Tiana Trump. Okay, shout out to Tiana Trump. Okay. Sure. I ain't lie about never. Okay, I would never give a fuck about another Trump. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Trump, but you're not a good president. And no, he would never be a good president. He wasn't a good president. He had no future to be a good president. Live and direct, Misty Stone and Adele. The Talk only X. Trump I vote for is what? Tiana Trump. Come on, Tiana, you better go on and uh, get I that. I still love you, baby. <laughs> 
So just moving right along, we seeing all of the changes, I guess, even in the adult world, yes. you know, I guess there's this um, a content creator kind of genre versus mainstream porn. It's not how they feel. I mean, that's what I've heard. Okay, so so let's gone. talk about that. What okay, wait a minute. Is there a difference? Or? This is the first I'm hearing about it because I've been gone for a couple months. Mm -hmm. I've been trying and to make you. Oh, we oh, all missed this oh, thing. She got so me So glad she back. She got me out the bed, baby. <laughs> Look at her. So, uh, yeah, I've been gone for a few months, so I would not understand the dynamic of how that's being a uh, a virtuous thing, like a, a, a versus thing, mm -hmm. you know, one versus one. So it's going to be what versus what again? So I guess there may be a difference or maybe people feel that there may be a difference between one would be called a content creator or maybe someone who's in like mainstream Adele. Oh, I like see. Like yourself. I see. And I. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in my opinion, what I think is no, I know. Okay, so there's a level. There's levels to this shit. Levels. There's levels. Okay, so if you've done over 400 movies, you're a porn star. Oh my goodness! Right? That's that's our star power. That's star power. I'm sorry. Give it to him. Let's go. Give it so, to him. Uh, I've definitely done over 400 movies. <laughs> Let they know that right? over 400 so. Adele movies in her career. Yeah, so if you've the done mother. over 400 movies, you are definitely an adult star. star if you're star. just doing porn for a living, you just you did a few films, you got on a couple cameras, you might have got on a few websites. Oh my God, I made it on Pornhub. You know, type of guy or girl, whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah if you're you have to be in order to be like a superstar in this industry you got to do all the movies and be a contract star for bronzers like this bitch you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh that's, that's why i love missy she gives the real now do you feel like this only fans wave has changed the mindset of being um yes some of that Yes, Maybe. because it's more of a content creator thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And what's the difference yes. between ones if you like in the lifestyle, like as as a porn star versus a content creator? Like, do we all get tested the same? Do you find that uh, so. people, because that's really important. I'm telling them. Let them know. Let them know how I don't know. the industry stands. I only talk with my people. And I don't fuck with content creators. Don't play. Yeah, we don't play. We don't 14 play. days. Period. Mm. And you've been doing that for how long now? Mm. 14, 15. Why are we not talking about it? <laughs> we ain't calling Missy Stone in the dinosaur. We, you are the legend. You the you mother. Me, this, you are both. Never. I think that's we, that's not said. what we're not saying. <laughs> that we need to give her her flowers. Oh, this is, it's all about Missy Stone that. today. You, this is she is the mother. You know you the mother since the '90s. So let's get into it. Let's talk about that. Like let's 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 get into the whole Misty Stone, like the you know, the birth of Misty Stone. Let's talk about the first moment. And I mean let's go back. The first moment when you ever decided that you wanted to go ahead and have sex on camera. Now was you somebody that maybe have done it before with the you know, was it with the guy kinda of independently and thought it was cool, or did you just hit the floor rolling just straight to set? Talk about it. Let us know your first time. I like the way you reiterated that question because nobody has ever asked me that. It's like I've had that question um, spoken to me so many times in every single interview, but nobody has said it to me the way you have. So, I I'm on a Dell X podcast, baby. Oh my period. God. We can <laughs> give you the rail straight from the horse's mouth. Oh Industry God. first. Let's go. Let's talk okay. about it. Bring us down this No, night. seriously. Um, honestly, baby, I had a prerequisite of stripping. Let's keep it real. Shout out we, to strippers. Yeah. Everybody let them strip. Are you familiar with the club Exposed? No, talk about it. Let me know. What's Exposed? You're, so, it? Oh, you're so young in the industry. <laughs> she thinks she old. 
I got an old soul. I be feeling like so. I'm in the wrong porn era. I wish I was. Most of the old bitches that are in the industry, we worked at Exposed. Okay, Exposed. And any other. It's the strip club for oh, y'all that don't know. In LA? In Canoga Park. Canoga Park LA, shout out. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's kind of like a museum now for porn stars. Look at that. Because we're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're not there anymore. They leveled up, y'all. Yeah, we leveled up. But back in the days, I don't know. It was a thing that we used to do. Most of the girls that came into the industry, we would work at this uh, adult uh, strip club called Exposed. And we'd all work there on any nights that we work, or even nights that we did work. Mm -hmm. You know, if we get off of work, we go to work, go to work, go to work. I mean, it was very interesting. And we had these black model houses. Is that not interesting? Black model houses. Now, before we go into any more, let's talk about what a model house is for those that may not know. Model houses are somewhere where girls stay so that they feel comfortable, safe, and they can work out of them. You know, they're, Usually, they're, most usually, their agents, their suitcase pimps, are the ones that operate these model houses. And um, they have a bunch of girls, and we all stay together, and we feel good together, and we do things together, we shop together, we go to Target together, you know? So, um, girl time. Yeah, so it's a lot of girl time, and we fuck together. So, we like that. Period. <laughs> we like that. Fuck so, one all. Um, and, Back in the day, there used to be black model houses. And I know you're not familiar with that. No, they don't exist anymore. Do you want to know who was in my black model house? Mm -hmm. Come on, let me keep Let's go. Pinky Triple X. OK, shout out Roxy to Pinky Triple X. Reynolds. Roxy Reynolds. My mentor. I'll let y'all know that. Shout out to Roxy mentor. Reynolds. Uh, what's her name? Okay. With the big titties. Maserati. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Damn. Come on, y'all. You're not old enough to remember. <laughs> Shit. She's I know, y'all know already. She's not going to be able to play this game with me. It's <laughs> terrible. She's like, I'm Maserati. Maserati. I'm like, Maserati, I don't even know Maserati. <laughs> We're not on the same level. Oh my God, Carmen Hayes. Oh, shout out to Carmen Hayes. Well, I was thinking that, Carmen. Man, you I know. I said it. Uh, give me another one. Come on. Lacey. Lacey was Lacey in there. Evolved. Lacey was in there. Mm -hmm. That was Suave's bitch. Mm -hmm. We know. Shout out to Suave. They had all I was Suave Side bitch. Uh huh. See? <laughs> Shout out to Suave. Side bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disrespectful. But no, no, Lacey, no, I, I Listen to this era, all these stars. Oh, oh my baby. goodness. And we were all in one home, living together, breathing together, making. Now, let me ask you. Together. Making money, honey. Mm. Let me ask you, was this uh the agent Ron's house? Absolutely. Shout out to Ron. He passed away. He Sorry, was some, Ron. he was like, if you know the stories about Ron, see again, I wasn't in that era, I missed it. But he was like the motherfucker. Like if you didn't everybody knew Ron. And I'm wow. talking about all the celebrities knew Ron and he used to come to these model houses because he had all the real stars. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to Ron. All right, Peter Brown, you probably hear that up here about him. I still love you. A bunch of times. A lot of stories. A lot of stories. So, you know, so basically you used to work at this strip club Expo. and Expose and Canoga Park and People are gonna go there now. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's Misty? I used and to work there when I was eight? nineteen. I'm thirty-six now. Too late. Years, but not that big. But so how did I'm you get still twenty-four? <laughs> Look at me, I'm eager to fuck to me. Like, how did you get that pussy busted open on camera? How did the strip club you know? from that first set and talk about that first day on set? And if you could remember, for who? And with who? Charlie Mack. Ooh, Charlie Mack. He break us all in. He was one of <laughs> he was one of my first scenes. Shout out to Charlie Mack. He is a great performer. He's also That's retired right. now. We're going to have to get him on the show. No, we can definitely get him. Definitely. Yeah, so that's my, that's my was brother. you afraid? What was you going through? Oh, absolutely. Like, oh, my what? God. I was fucking terrified. What the fuck? I was fucking terrified. His dick is like this big. It's a fucking monster. And I'm like a little 19-year-old girl. Absolutely. 19 and, years old. And honestly, let me keep it real. He was my second scene. 
for T.T. Boy. My first scene T. T. was, Boy. yeah, T.T. Boy was some homie. Another All right there. I had a lot of stories too. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm sure, what a oh, wow. Oh was. my goodness. So, um, but Charlie Mack was my actual, my second scene that I ever did. And he was like my brother. He was so amazing. He was so sweet to me. And he does have a big, humongous, fucking, tremendous dick. Yes. Absolutely. He's well in there. It's very, very, <laughs> very much so. But I don't know. He was just so nice to me. So he made you feel real comfortable. Mm -hmm. it just... But maybe because he knew that I was new. Mm -hmm. And it was my second scene ever. Mm -hmm. It was my first scene on set having makeup done on my face and like, it was just like a lot. So, I love you, Charlie. And you're when my you're, brother forever. Forever and ever. And when you Look what you made a star. What year was that again? Oh shit, 2006. So how was the make? How was it like getting makeup done? Was, was you know back in it was it's not that far, but do you feel like there was any problems with you know certain makeup artists giving you your look, or did you have to did it, did it you know come over the years? Honestly, okay. Did you have the signature Misty Stone look I know, that we I all know. had? So in the, beginning, Let's talk about that. in the beginning, I feel like it's something that you have to adapt to. You're a young lady and you're used to just putting glitter and mascara and lip gloss on your face. Mm -hmm. And you're not used to all this stuff. So as a young lady and becoming and, and, and starting in this industry, knowing like, whoa, you have to put like these pounds of makeup on. You know, I wasn't ready for that. And yes, I was very terrified. I hated it. I thought I looked fucking ugly and disgusting. Honestly, we disagree, but of um, course, everyone has the right to their own opinion. But and we I all love Mr. I actually Stone. got the box cover, and it was with Byron Long. Period. What got in there, and I feel it like you should, but you gave what needed to be gave, and that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. That star quality when you get things when you're not even trying to do it, you know, and that's what we say about Mr. So Stone. So we so I've heard that you are like the Pam Greer of the industry. All right. Okay. Well, come on. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, and, and 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 let's talk about this uh this look that you have. And I'm actually not the Pam Greer. You are. I'm the Holly Berry. <laughs> Let's come on. Not the cameras. Come on. Tell At me. this point, yeah. You know, and I'll yeah. take that from Misty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's but a, that is Holly. powerful because everybody no. wanted to see. No, you, you know, Pam Greer was like the most you have the ebony. And you know, of uh, that century. And we all want to see her naked and fuck for oh, real. And so, oh, baby. Miss Halle Berry, where did you, where did this look come from? The signature beautiful curly look where can't nobody take uh -huh. from you? That is Misty Stone's look. We okay. all know it. So, I'm where did tell y'all a from? story that you don't really know? Uh, a lot of people are aware that my mentor is Roxy Reynolds. But Roxy Reynolds had a best friend. And her best friend's name was Vita Valentine. And Vita Valentine was the woman that discovered me. And she was the queen of fucking whips. She was the best and she sucked dick so big. <laughs> <laughs> Could make wigs and suck dick, okay? okay. She for everybody, she I like me. I like Miss yeah, Vita. She was amazing. And we like went to this wig store and we trained all, all these wigs and I don't know, the curly wig kind of stuck with me. We did it. And then I went to set with it. They loved it. And when I didn't go to set with it, they were like, Misty, where's your hair? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you mean that hair? So eventually it just became a part of me after a while because it is the reason that it made me so much money and keep it real, the white people love me. The white people do love Misty. <laughs> Everybody love loves Misty. They love me because of that hair. Personality. <laughs> Personality came with it, but it's the, the hair was very inviting for them. It was that era where they could feel like, oh, that's soft enough. That's nice enough. She's light enough. It's great enough. <laughs> uh, so very, so oh, I've been through many things. eras. <laughs> oh, baby. And we're going to talk right about now. that. Ooh, we're going to talk about this era, too. It's Coming up in a few minutes, we're going to go to a little commercial break. <gasps> And we'll be right the fuck back, so don't y'all go no fucking where. Misty Stone. Adult Talk Xbox. We'll be back in a minute. See you later. Uh